This is Emirates Flight EK-9255, carrying the Indian-manufactured AstraZeneca's vaccine, about 2 million doses, in the second leg of the journey from Dubai to Sao Paulo International Airport, Brazil. The president of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro, took to Twitter to thank Indian Prime Minister Modi with a picture of the Hindu god Hanuman carrying vaccines to Brazil in reference to the Sanskrit epic of ancient India Ramayana. This special flight carrying the vaccine to Brazil was sent a day before India began the biggest vaccination drive in the world. Just last week, a video of Canadian MP Michelle Garner questioning Canadian Procurement Minister over contacting India to procure COVID-19 vaccines went viral. Does the minister know if the Prime Minister has reached out to the Indian government? I do not know, thank you. She doesn't know. That's Frightening. The sad reality is that a lot of countries are facing mounting challenges to procure vaccines, with many countries increasingly looking up to India to fulfill their inoculation programs. Being the leader of a small Caribbean island with a population of 72,000 people, I did not fancy my chances of getting such a swift, positive response to my request. India has been sending out vaccine doses in large numbers to other countries under the Vaccine Maitri initiative. This shipment of 2 million doses of vaccine to Brazil marked the start of India's export of vaccine. Just to give you a perspective of the shortages of vaccine globally and how India is stepping in to fulfill the demand, while Canada is still on track to get 6 million doses of Pfizer and Moderna vaccines by the end of March, India, on the other hand, has already supplied around 15.6 million vaccine doses to 17 countries like Bhutan, Maldives, Bangladesh, Nepal, Myanmar, Mauritius, Seychelles, Sri Lanka, the UAE, Brazil, Morocco, Bahrain, Oman, Egypt, Algeria, Kuwait, and South Africa. All of these vaccines were given free of cost by India, and India is planning to gift 500,000 doses of coronavirus vaccines to CARICOM countries, that is the Caribbean community, and another 200,000 doses each to Nicaragua and the Pacific Island states. Apart from the 17 countries who already received India's vaccine, 30 other countries are now reaching out to India for the coronavirus vaccine. All this in addition to India planning to vaccinate around 300 million of its own people by July of this year. That's almost the entire population of the United States. Not too long ago, I remember reading doomsday predictions about Indian health crisis. A New York-based foreign affairs magazine anticipated a quote-unquote catastrophe in India, with Boston Review claiming India's response to be a quote-unquote humanitarian disaster. The Scientific American Journal said that, quote, India is in denial about the COVID-19 crisis, and BBC went all the way in proclaiming that, quote, Delhi is heading for a disaster. This headline from BBC is now three months old. A quick look at the figures shows rapidly increasing COVID-19 cases in Europe, with the United States averaging a whopping 100,000 cases every single day, and reports coming out of the UK recording 1,564 daily deaths, with new, highly infectious coronavirus variant being discovered in the UK and South Africa, not to mention the vaccine shortages in all of the West. In the meantime, India has had a steady decline of cases, with only 145,000 active cases, the lowest since June of 2020. And now the country is well on its way to vaccinating not only millions of its own citizens, but also the world. In comparison, the top three in terms of active cases, being the US, the UK and France, have a combined coronavirus active cases of around 14.6 million. India is also very well on its way to supply vaccines to China. So far, with China's vaccine Sinopharm and Sinovac, the results have been very patchy with lack of data and transparency. On top of it, the countries who have received Chinese vaccines, like Brazil and Thailand, found the efficacy rates of Chinese vaccines at an abysmal 50%. It's not only Canada who is struggling to procure vaccines. 
the situation is dire in Europe too, where countries like Britain, France, Germany, Italy and Spain are all having some of the highest fatalities due to coronavirus outside of the United States and Brazil. Just to give you a perspective of the vaccine scenario in Europe, Germany's Chancellor Angela Merkel has become so desperate that she's now looking at Russia's Sputnik vaccine while she expels Russian diplomats in a tit-for-tat move, as she tries to battle concerns over Germany's rapidly deteriorating healthcare and sputtering inoculation program. The situation is not so different in many other EU countries as well. Spain had to temporarily suspend its inoculation program due to the shortage of vaccines. The UK and EU are at each other's throats, the latter threatening to stop the Belgian-produced vaccine to Britain. As vaccine production falls, the situation seems calamitous in EU, with daily skyrocketing cases and deaths, and many EU countries and UK entering strict lockdown, it's natural that the leaders in these countries are under tremendous pressure to secure the rights to the vaccines. It seems like a new vaccine war is brewing in Europe when countries in EU, the UK and elsewhere are struggling to vaccinate their own people. How is India able to not only vaccinate its own citizens, but also gift millions of doses of vaccines to other countries? How is India able to do all that? Well, for starters, this is not the first time India is stepping up to supply vaccines and medicines to the global world. 40 years ago, in 1981, when the whole world was reeling from another global pandemic called HIV-AIDS, it was India who supplied AIDS medication to lower and middle income countries, which were left devastated from AIDS pandemic. At that time, the Western countries were supplying AIDS medication at $8,000 annually, which comes down to around $23,000 in today's money, which the lower income countries could not afford. It was an Indian pharmaceutical giant called Sipla who brought down the price of AIDS medication to $1 a day. It was India who saved millions of lives, possibly billions, in the lower and middle income countries who were unable to afford AIDS medication at that time. And today it's India once again who is now supplying free vaccines to these countries. Surprisingly, not many people know that India produces 60% of global vaccines and accounts for 70 to 80% of the United Nations annual vaccine procurement. If you have taken a vaccine in the past year, whether it's polio, diphtheria, tetanus or BCG, it most probably was manufactured in India. As the pandemic hit the world, Indian pharma companies once again rose to the occasion, supported by the government of India to manufacture and maintain supply chains, even during the most stringent lockdown India imposed. What works for India is that a number of Indian pharma companies have stepped up to manufacture vaccines. Serum Institute of India is currently manufacturing Oxford AstraZeneca COVID Shield vaccine and is slated to immunize around 600 million Indians in the coming months. At the moment, Serum Institute of India has 50 million doses quality tested and ready to be rolled out. The company plans to ramp up production to a whopping 100 million doses a month from March this year. An important fact to be noted is that all of India's indigenous vaccines can be stored in the normal refrigerators at around plus 8 degrees Celsius, with the minimum of plus 2 degrees Celsius. In the coming months, India plans to fly out more than 60 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines to countries like Saudi Arabia, Papua New Guinea and nearly 160 million doses to be routed to UNICEF and WHO, through which countries like Canada and Pakistan plans to procure the vaccines, instead of, you know, asking India directly for the vaccines like Brazil did. But politics aside, this is really a fascinating tale of how India will be able to vaccinate almost the entire world. It remains to be seen if India is up for this challenge, which frankly speaking, if you ask me, I know India is. As I was researching more about the seven other different indigenous vaccines, which India plans to mass produce and inoculate some 3.6 billion people globally, I started noticing something written on every package of shipment of vaccines meant to be given as gift to countries by India. It is a Sanskrit verse saying, may all be free from disease. Truly a beautiful saying indeed. So we will leave it right here. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Please do hit that like button and make sure to subscribe for more awesome content. See you guys next time.